Check the temperatures lately. It's burning up here in the Houston region this week. Yeah, highs now flirting with those triple digits. You may have heard of something called the wet bulb temperature. If you haven't, Brandy Smith explains what it means. Why do you need to worry about something called the wet bulb temperature? You may have heard about it recently thanks to hot temperatures around the world. The science behind it can be a little complicated, but essentially the wet bulb temperature is the threshold for human survivability. If heat and humidity are too high, the human body begins to lose the ability to sweat, meaning we can't cool ourselves off. A critical wet bulb temperature is the point at which a healthy person can survive for only six hours. A 2020 study in the journal Science Advances found that some places on Earth already hit that threshold. So where does the name come from? It's the way the measurement's taken. If you wrap a wet cloth around the bulb of the thermometer, evaporating water from the cloth can cause the temperature to go down, recreating how the human body cools itself off with sweat. The wet bulb temperature is the temperature that a wet cloth cools the thermometer down to. But if the air is humid, less water from the cloth will evaporate, meaning the thermometer won't be cooled off as much and the wet bulb temperature will be higher. According to the Washington Post, places like the Persian Gulf and Pakistan already reached a wet bulb temperature of 95 degrees. At that point, you can't sweat enough to avoid overheating. Even if you're healthy, find shade, and drink a large amount of water, you will still face organ failure. The only real solution is air conditioning. And as temperatures and humidity rise, experts say making sure people have access to air conditioning will take on new importance. With The Y, I'm Brandi Smith.